live from Toronto, Canada, it's theCUBE, covering Blockchain Futurist Conference 2018. Brought to you by theCUBE. Hello everyone, welcome back to theCUBE live coverage here in Toronto, Canada, Ontario for Untraceable Presents Blockchain Futurist Conference. Two days we've been here, we're on day two, amazing event here, great community. I'm John Furrier, your host. Dave Vellante went back east, so he was here yesterday. Our next guest, Pablo Gonzalez, is the founder and CEO of Genesis Blockchain Technologies. Welcome to theCUBE, thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. So I'm glad to have you on. First of all, when Bradley Rada says, whoop, watch out for that guy, you must be smart because we trust Bradley, so <laughs> yeah. But you're doing something really cool. Thank you. The future of trading and exchanges has been a topic that everyone's been talking about, but not a lot of people have been actually moving the needle on. You got yeah. some, some movement here, people are doing here, but no one's actually had the full package. Yes. And they're running as fast as they can to do it. Yeah. You guys have done it. We have. Uh, how? What, so first, take a minute, what have you guys done? Yes. What is the product, how did you do it, and what can people use today? Thank you. So it's no longer hot air, as you said. Um, a lot of people are saying what they're going to do. We're here to say what we have done, which is very different. Yesterday, up at the main stage, we launched the world's first decentralized exchange on a mobile platform. We're fully licensed by the Costa Rican Commodities Exchange. We're, we have a broker dealer license a currency exchange license, and a money remittance license. We already possess the licenses. We're not in pursuit of the licenses, we have them. What we did, obviously we pursued an M&A uh, strategy, we acquired companies that were over a decade uh, in the business, and we just transformed them and kryptonized them, as I use the term, yeah. um, and launched the exchange with those um, licenses and platforms. Uh, we listed the exchange with over 40 coins, over $4 billion of shared market cap, and over half a million dollars of da daily trading and liquidity. And so this is right now going on in Costa Rica, mainly stable. Is it stable? How's the stability there? So the country is extremely stable. Uh, they haven't had an army for over 50 years. Uh, it's considered a world-class country for banking, for international businesses so much so. Uh, Amazon, uh, HP, Intel, all these humongous companies have large operations in the country. And their posture to crypto is, they've come out formally yes. to, to state what? What's the, what's the posture from, from Costa Rica? On? So they consider cryptocurrencies a commodity and not a security. And that's why we went on to pursue a commodities exchange license. So that opens up doors for you to do this. Of course, this. and opens up the doors, think about it. So you can now trade Bitcoin with gold in our exchange not as of today, we're going to launch it on in January. So now you can trade cryptocurrencies with commodities and cryptocurrencies with uh, uh, fiat currencies. So I'm just kind of speculating here in terms of my mind where I'm going with this. Almost imagine the shakeup that's coming. Yes. It's like a blender. I mean, trading yes. gold and Bitcoin, it's just yes. like, who would have thought that was possible a year ago? That's correct. They've been compared. People compare Bitcoin to new yeah. digital gold, yeah. but actually comparing them, yes. this is going to shake up like a blender. That's correct. Blend up the commodities market. Disrupt it. What do you, what's your vision? How, what do you see happening? I just think that a lot of people are focusing on, you know, they say in one of the interviews earlier today, one of the presenters, one, one of the interviewers was asking me, so is that to the moon, is that Bitcoin to the moon? And I'm like, guys, we need to stop. If we want this industry to really grow and develop, stop using those analogies. We need to create a community that's larger. We need mass adoption. And I think that by including the commodities into the equation, you're catering to the traditional investors that are a little bit uncomfortable with cryptocurrencies because they don't know about them, but they know about gold. Yeah. And if all of a sudden now you compare gold with Bitcoin. It brings or, retail into it. Yes. It brings a real, real retail that, market. That's correct. Yeah, you know, I, I just want to say something. I agree with you 100%. These, these uh, news outlets out there and other people, they tend to focus on the price of Bitcoin. Yeah. And it's almost like, okay, can we get over that? Yeah, it's got to go up and down. Exactly. If you're in the long game, it should be 20,000. Okay, I can, okay, we can buy that. But let's talk about what people are doing. Yes. What, who's building something? Yes. That's the focus. That's so correct. So if I ask you now that question, hey, Pablo, what have you built and what are you going to continue to build? If this is a foundational product, yes. what are you guys going to do on top of it? What's the build plan? Thank you. So yesterday we launched the decentralized exchange with 40 coins. We're going to uh, add probably between now and December another 110 uh, different tokens. We're doing ERC20 for now. 
Uh, and in January, we're launching the centralized exchange. So that's where we're, where we're at the fiat currencies and the commodities. And when, what date again? Uh, End of January. Okay, got yeah, it. We're going to make an announcement in November in one of the conferences in Malta. Got it, okay. Uh, and so that, we're reserving the date and everything else <laughs> for that. Um, but in May of next year, we're, la we're launching uh, over-the-counter trading desk with full KYC, AML, you know, counterterrorism, finance, and all of the world-class policies. Um, and by this time next year, we're going to be launching our institutional platform. So we want to be a one-stop shop. Uh, via the currency exchange that we own, we are we already have the ability from the Central Bank of Costa Rica, which is amazing, yeah. to issue Visa cards. Yeah. So now, yeah. our users, besides trading, they can take their uh, crypto with them from their mobile phone, convert it to fiat, and pay you know, for gasoline. You know, buy right. So groceries. I'm an entrepreneur, I got my own cube coin coming out, cube token, security token, or utility. So what's in it for me? If I asked you, well, what's in it for me? What, what do I get out of it as a business? What do I, you know, are, are people going to start trading my coins? Am I instantly going to have it over the counter? So as a business, what do I have to worry about? What's the benefits? What, what matters to me? What's the impact? So if you were to be a coin to list in our exchange, you mean? Well, first of all, you know, we are no exchanges now to list on them. You know, they charge you to four, some of them, I'm not going to say the name. They charge you a lot yeah, of money. 400 BTC and crazy amounts like this. We are going to charge. It's a business at the end of the day. Yeah. But what we're looking for with the coins that we're going to list is partnerships and seeing in what ways we can do more and more entrepreneurial projects to change the landscape of the industry together yeah. as an exchange and a coin because potentially what a coin is, is a company. Yeah. You know, what's behind the coin is what's important to us and not the coin itself. Yeah. And so as the, as the company develops and progresses, so will the coin's price appreciate in value yeah. or depreciate in value. Um, and so, yes, besides facilitating trading fees, and lowering that, yeah. uh, uplisting and so forth, uh, what we're bringing to the table wants to be much more dynamic. You got to balance, you know, business, that you got to do with infrastructure build out. Right. It's like the old telecom days. You got to build some cell towers before you roll out yeah. mobile. You got to build this entire retail global yes. fabric. Yes. How does community play in for it? Obviously community is very important. I agree with you. Main That's role. big time. Yeah. How are you guys building your community, tapping into any anything else? Obviously untraceable's got a great community. Yes. How are you going to grow your community? So as an exchange, there could be a conflict of interest. Uh, we have to be really careful yeah. how we get involved in the community. But what we want to do is s s by selected partnerships with projects and coins, the coins are already doing their work. They, they are appealing to a community. They're raising the money from that community. What we want to do is we want to partner up with those coins, yeah. the coins that they're worth partnering up with, and that way our reach automatically will multiply. On top of that, of course, we want to work with governments and banks and institutions. We believe, it may not be popular what I'm about to say, but you know the, the, the good old honor kists that came to the you know, hardcore crypto, you know, forget about central banks and centralization. I don't think that that's ever going to happen. I think that the more we cooperate with governments, that the more we work with them, we together can shape the industry and the landscape for good. Yeah. Yeah. I do believe in that, and so collaboration and cooperation with governments and banks to us is pivotal. I mean, you could be a you could be a coach to the regulatory. Absolutely, you could be an advocate and partner, not we are an enemy. Being in Costa Rica, so before they considered and they 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 took a position on whether it was a commodity or not, you know, they approached us and they they we were teaching them uh, so much so that uh, a congressman that was going to be at the conference and couldn't make it. He's the founder of the liber libertarian movement in Costa Rica. He created a think tank <laughs> of crypto because of us that now has Latin American reach. Think yeah. about it, there are 1.3 billion people in Latin America. They all have mobile phones. That, exactly, <laughs> that can now learn about crypto, and so we're going to capitalize. It's a real things. democratization. What you do is changing society. If you, get this, if you get this, continue to get this right, yeah. this is really key. Congratulations. Thank you. Know, you. I want to ask you a personal question. First sure. of all, I love, love the hat. You look, look, you look great. Thank you. How did you get here? Were you scratching an itch that, that was around this? Was it, um, how did you get to the point where you said, hey, I'm going to go out and build the first exchange, I'm going to roll up the companies, wire them together, cryptotize them, and, and, and go, go nuts and build an exchange. I mean, how do you get here? What's the story? Thank you. Well, it's a story. <laughs> um, I began entrepreneurial projects over 10 years ago, been in the private sector, 
Uh, we, because Coast Rica is a services company, we put together a call center, took it from like four people to 4,000 people in four years. I went on to like building my own sports brand in over 10 countries. But then, uh, about two years ago, the, uh, a few companies from Canada, they called me, from here, they called me to um, help them go public in the Canadian Securities Exchange. I took two companies public last year. And after that, you know, we were saying, I was saying to myself and the crew, guys, what do we do next? How can we really disrupt the industry? Um, and one of the things we were talking about was, man, we're in a decentralized community that brags about decentralization, trading at centralized exchanges. Yeah. How, how, yeah, yeah. how ironic is that? <laughs> yeah, it's gotta change. So we said, you know what, let's, let's, let's be the pioneers. Let's head out on a quest to build the world's first mobile decentralized exchange. Yeah. And we, we achieved it, it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Now you hear the big guys, the yeah. whales, talking about we're going to come up with a decentralized exchange, because it's that's hard. what people want yeah, at the end of the day. Yeah. And we were able to be the first ones ever yeah. to give that. And then just, it's, it's stability is critical. I mean, I was just at a bank um, starting up a new account for a new startup that we're doing, and, and, and they're like, is this a blockchain company? I'm like, uh, no. God, exactly. No, God, no, 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 <laughs> yeah. we're a media business. Yeah, those are bad guys. So you can't even open a bank account in some places. This is, so this has really got to get fixed. Yes. And I got to get liquid, I got to get fiat currency out, I got to make yeah. things around. The retail market, whether it's trading, investing, it's got to be converted over to the yes. new world. Yes, I mean, it's almost like a full changeover. That's correct. I, obviously, I think that it'll, it'll be a transition process. It'll take some time. There are some banks that are already getting more involved into the process. Uh, what's interesting in our case is we even got the central bank, the Costa Rican central bank, to be our bank. Think about it, we're not banking with any private bank or a public bank, but the, but the Costa Rican central bank. And I think that more and more banks will follow suit as they see good use cases. Yeah. The ICO craze of last year, I don't think that it did any good to yeah. the greater good of the community. Yeah. If anything, it brought a lot of prejudice. It's a black eye, there'll be a hangover on that, but that's like yes. a dot-com bubble. All those things in the dot-com bubble actually happen, so yes. I think you're going to just see that get digested out of the system. Inevitable. And a focus on quality, that's what's happening now. Inevitable. Pablo, thanks for coming on. Pablo Gonzalez, who is the founder and CEO of Genesis Blockchain Technology, first ever exchange, bringing all new magic to the marketplace. It's theCUBE, bringing you the content magic here here in Toronto, Canada. I'll be right back with more. Stay with us. Live coverage after this short break.